is how you help your daddy do chores. <laughs> I guess this is a chore. Keeping this baby happy. You like that? You don't normally get up on a trampoline. Roro, Roro put you up here? Rowan, Liam, Onan, come help. You coming? Here's our farm boys, ready for a farm project. You ready to catch some chickens? He lost the shoe? Get get his other shoe, please. He can't walk out here without shoes. Thank you, Liam. Yeah, you gotta put that on. <sighs> Definitely have to have some form of shoes, even if they're just Crocs. Even flip-flops, but not bare feet, because there's gonna be prickers on the ground where the pigweed grew up. All right. All right, you boys ready to catch some chickens? Let's do this. No, we're not catching that one. He gets to stay out. We're going to catch these full-grown pullets. We got crowing. Surprisingly, we haven't heard had any eggs, but I'm thinking it'll be any day now. Them. Yes, scaring them is part of how we're going to collect them. So Daddy's got one that's outside, a pretty black hen. She's coming this way. Uh, there's a rooster on this side. You got her, Daddy? Alright, we got one. That's that's a that's somewhat of a success then, right? <laughs> and she has the Easter egg or cheeks. So she must have been one of our hatches. But how? We don't have black genetics like that. Unless she's one of Robert's and somehow he got a different rooster. Hmm. She's pretty. You want a clack clack, Odin? Yes. You love them cluck clucks, don't you? She's talking to you. Sweet girl. <laughs> All right. The kids are going in for the chickens. They already think we're predators when we're doing this. All right, put her in. Any more? That's all of them. Ooh, war scars. When you grow up, you're going to say, this happened when I caught a vicious rooster. It wasn't from the rooster, though. It was from the wire, wasn't it? Uh, I think it actually was a scratch. Just a maybe scratch from a hen. All right, let's move them. All the other chickens are calling out because they hear the chaos. Let's get this done quick. All right, so the professionals will tell you to put a small coop inside of your big coop first and let them get adjusted to each other or to do it at night. But we're not really professionals. So 
we're doing it how we are able to do it this is what we're able to do we got to get it done the transition might be a little bit hostile at first but they should calm down they have plenty of space to maneuver and get away from each other so the fighting shouldn't be too bad hey 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 you got escapees trying Come on, last couple. Let's go in. Go on. So there's already a bunch of them that have gone in. <laughs> and they're getting to know their friends and neighbors. So is Squirty still the friendliest chicken ever? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so there's a little bit of fighting here and there. Liam, stay back when they're fighting. Between some of the roosters, we are going to get rid of the excess roosters. They will be going to freezer camp. But for the most part, the new colony is staying together and segregating themselves from the old colony. And that'll change at night. But they've got plenty of nesting boxes. Ooh, some eggs. Hello, eggs. Usually they lay them all in the same one. Are you laying an egg or are you trying to go broody? Hello, miss. Madam, can I see if you got an egg? Oh, don't you try to bite me. Come on, baby. All right, there's not even an egg under you, you silly. But for the most part, they're staying separated. <laughs> the cows and goats aren't even paying any attention to the fact that the chickens are all freaking out over here. Oh my goodness, now they know what they want. They want boyfriends. It's that time of year. I am smelling buck right now and I have not smelt buck in several months. They are lined up at the gate. Who do we let in? Tabitha and Truly? Hearts? Nah. Rosemary. Rosemary, Tabitha, and Truly. Yeah, that sounds good. And look at, look at what I just found. A little duck egg nest. Three eggs. Well, thank you, boys. Thank you, boys, for your help. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You are the best chicken catchers I've ever met. Yeah. But I did it. And all these cuts are just from our cat, Cleo. Yep, she likes to play with you, doesn't she? All right, so the next step is you guys get to go get on your game. Yes, I have to bribe my farm kids to do farm stuff these days. <laughs> this one still does a little bit of farming with me still. You like working in the garden, huh? Don't you? Being fussy. This duck thinks it's a pig. This duck never hangs out with other ducks. It was one of our original ducks from the old homestead. And she just thinks she belongs with the pigs. So I think it's funny that uh, a lot of homesteaders portray their farm kids as being ones that will work and do anything they ask them to do anytime they ask it. Meanwhile, my kids, I gotta bribe them. So I told them if they came out and did hours of work, I would let them go in. I would let them. I will let them. No, yes. It's not easy to farm with farm kids all the time. No matter what you see on TV. All right, now that I ditched my helpers, <laughs> might actually get more done. Even though it's hard to get stuff done with the kids out here helping, I still make sure that they do it so that they have the sense of work ethic instilled in them to know that hard work pays off in the things that they enjoy the most, which is all the wonderful animals and the food that they produce in our homestead. You do know that you have a tool for that, right? What's that? You do know you have a tool for that, right? Okay, 
So Ryan took down the temporary fence. He got the gate installed on the pole. The electric company told us we could use this pole because they're going to be replacing it and setting another pole near it. And so he hitched that to the gate and then he's going to have to put an H brace where that pole is and finish out the fence across here so that we can put the cows back out in the cow pasture. And while the fence is down and we have the chickens out of this temporary coop, we're going to bush hog all through here because this is our food forest two area. This coop will eventually be moved too, but right now while well, we have babies that need to be grown out near the coop so that they're somewhat getting used to each other's sounds at least, then after we're done growing out, we'll move this too. So these beautiful girls in this chicken tractor are going to be moved into there when he's done bush hogging. And then these beautiful babies will move into the chicken tractor. So I like this system where we gradually, where we graduate them up from one coop to the next as they grow. So while Ryan works on getting all of this area cleaned up and the fence moved again and put up more permanently, I'm gonna go work in the garden. Good luck, Ryan. He's got to move all the hoses and power cords before he bush hogs, so it's kind of a tangled mess over here for running a tractor, but it's only temporary. All right. Watch it, Daddy. Watch your side, Daddy. Now these little ones are getting upgraded into the other chicken tractor. Good girls. Good girls. We got one that's kind of confused. <laughs> she keeps going in the corner. Come on, you can figure it out. Come on. There you go. Enjoy your new headquarters. I'm not sure what he's doing. I don't know what he thinks he's doing, but he wanted to go in there. Aw, oh, you just wanted to hang out with the cluck clucks. He calls chickens cluck clucks. You like them? You're cute. Odin wants to help. You gonna put that cluck cluck in there? Put it in. Good job. Good job.